Hey everyone, we've all heard the saying, life is short, right? But sometimes you just need to throw caution to the wind. Think of it like going on a roller coaster. All my pup Koa here, going all out playing with her ball. For her, it's wild, exhilarating, and boy, does it make her heart race. But before you take that plunge, let's make sure you're doing it the smart way. Similar to strapping on that safety harness before the roller coaster takes off. Think about the potential outcomes and ask yourself, is it worth it? And when it comes to taking risks, don't just dive blindly into the unknown. Take a detour from your cozy comfort zone, I say, but make sure you have a map in hand. Here's how to do it. Tip number one, before you embark on any wild escapade, make sure to take a moment or two to ponder the potential consequences and mull over whether the thrills outweigh the spills. By keeping an eye on the risks, you can make informed decisions and take calculated risks. For example, before you launch a new business venture, I would say you should probably think about analyzing the market conditions, um, your competition, financial implications, and potential challenges. Or if you're looking to participate in an adventure sports like skydiving, bungee jumping, or rock climbing, it's important to assess the potential risks involved. Follow safety guidelines and ensure proper training. It's so simple, just be smart about it. Tip number two, before you go all crazy and start winging it, take time to set some clear goals. It's like having a roadmap to success. Knowing exactly what you want to achieve will keep you from getting distracted and keep those motivational fires burning. And hey, make sure that your decisions match up with your big dreams and values. No point chasing after something that doesn't align with your inner rock star, right? Okay. Tip number three is to be a knowledge sponge. Before you dive headfirst into a situation or opportunity, I say gather all the information that you can get your hands on. Do some research, hit up the experts, or consult those wise folks that you trust. The more you know, the better you'll be equipped at making those very important informed decisions. And hey, who doesn't love minimizing uncertainties? Tip number four is to trust your intuition. Sure, it's crucial to gather all the facts and figures, but let's not forget that little thing called intuition. Trust your gut, my friend. Your inner voice knows a thing or two. Sometimes you have to take a leap of faith and follow those wild instincts of yours. Life's all about calculated risks and daring adventures. So go ahead and embrace the power of your intuition. It's like having a sidekick guiding you through the twists and turns of this crazy journey we all call life. Tip number five, I say, start small and take baby steps. If you're feeling a bit hesitant about taking those big daring leap, no worries. Dip your toes in the water before you dive head first. Take it easy, gain some confidence and rack up some experience points. It's like leveling up on a video game. This way you can test the waters, make a few oopsies and learn from them without going belly up. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither are your risk-taking skills. So start small, grow big, and I say conquer the world one fearless step at a time. Last tip number seven is to always have a backup plan because you never know when things might go sideways. So think about some alternative options or strategies that you can whip out if your original plan does goes belly up. I bet Koa here have a backup plan if I take away her ball. She will spend the next several hours staring at me with those big sad how eyes until I give her a treat or another ball. For her, the backup plan is from her instinct, so combining both tips. Remember, having a backup plan is having a secret weapon up your sleeve. It helps you in so many different ways, including navigating those unexpected challenges and keep those potential setbacks at bay. Well, there you have it. When you throw caution to the wind in a smart way, I promise you that amazing things can happen. So go ahead and take that leap of faith, try something new and see where it takes you. Koa and I know you can, and we believe in you. If you like what I have to share today, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. That's it for today, and I promise more awesome tips on how to live life boldly. I'm Susan Sayer, CEO and founder of The Koa Club. In this video series, we share tips and strategies on how we can have our best lives. By being bold, always remember this motto, I should, I can, I will live boldly.
thank you from me and Koa. Until next time. <laughs>